We're going loopity loop again. Hello there, guys. My name is Coach Shaw Dogs to Born, but built for theme park facts entertainment. And welcome to a video where today we're going to share some new photos from the completion of track on the 10 looping roller coaster. It's pretty much nearly done, it's pretty much 80% there, I think. Um, 85 if most. And we're going to share some pictures that were sent in by a fan of the channel, uh, Liam. So massive shout out to you, Liam. I know you watch the videos. Uh, a massive thank you for sending them in. Make sure, guys, if you've got any construction updates on any projects at any park around the world, family park, kids park, thrill park, all park, anywhere around the world, send them in. Use the Instagram link in the description down below or the Snapchat link or, or Twitter link and message me on Twitter privately. Again, links in the description. And uh, yeah, we're going to share some images on this 10 looping roller coaster. And for those of you who are new to the channel, we'll also talk to you about the stats for the ride and a little bit of history surrounding this project. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss any more thrilling YouTube content. And let's get into this theme park news room update looking at the latest from the brand new 10 looper, rumoured to be called Inversion, at Flamingoland in Bolton, North Yorkshire. So with the recent pictures on your screen, it's very, very clear that track work has pretty much all but been completed. It's pretty much 80 to 85% there. And, you know, even though it's displaying the dark red and yellow colour scheme, we expect the rest of the track to get painted to the grey that we saw uh, somewhere in the track uh, layout. Um, but from the looks of it, it is, you know, pretty much there. Like I said, it's about 85% finished in construction. And I think that, you know, we're expecting um, probably an opening in early 2021. I think if it is going to be 2021, I think it'll be a very early opening. I think possibly even, you know, start of March if you wanted to. Or maybe if they open for the February half term, this is one of the new attractions and it sort of soft opens for February half term or something. So for those of you who need some stats, he has a length of 2,870.8 feet, a height of 108.3 feet, a speed of 52.8 miles per hour, and of course, with it being a 10 looping coaster, it has 10 inversions. Now, of course, this coaster has been at two different locations, and here is why. So this coaster was originally scheduled to open at Hopi Hari in Brazil, a Brazilian theme park, for the 2011 season. However, from 2012 to 2017, it has been in storage at Hopi Hari due to financial problems, they couldn't open the coaster. And then after 2017, it was sent over and it was in storage for about a year or so at Malaysia's Movie Animation Park Studios, uh, no, also known as MAPS. Now, this was in storage for about a year and a, about nearly a year and a half, pretty much. And then we got the early rumours in February 2019. We did that video, so make sure you go and check out the playlist at the end of the video I've linked. Where we, and that basically contains all the videos we've done on this project. And you can check out that first video we did back in February 2019 when we heard the rumours of a 10 looping coaster being located uh, to cause the relocation of a few children's rides, the demolishment of the cycle monorail, and of course the demolishment of the temporary car park, which used to be the site of the former corkscrew roller coaster. So it was on a long thin strip going that way and that way. Literally, that long thin strip on the corkscrew site as well as the children's ride site. So this was right at the front of the entrance. This is a front entrance coaster and it caused the repaint of Velocity, the Vekoma motorbike launch coaster by Vekoma, uh, of course, when that opened in 2005. Um, now, obviously this coaster is the signature ride in the park. Do I think this is a significant development for the UK and for Flamingoland? Yes, I do. I think Flamingoland have got themselves a really significant roller coaster here. This is their signature ride. Colossus became the signature ride of the Thrill Park, Thought Park, and from there it was just development, development, development. And I think Flamingoland uh, in 2021, I think, will still make a profit, a massive profit on this despite the COVID restrictions. And. You know, I think even if this opened in 2020 or 2021 without the COVID, I think this will still have a massive profit. And I think that, you know, we're looking here at the start of the growth for Flamingoland. We saw what Paltons Park did with Cobra and then the Peppa Pig World area. And it just grew from there with the attractions from 2012 onwards. And, um, you know, I think Flamingoland are going to get that extra, extra growth. 
The Action Man Training HQ, from what I've seen recently, looks very old and tattered and could do with a refurbishment or a complete demolishment. Few rumblings about a refurbishment. Some people want it demolished completely, including myself. I want it demolished completely because I think it's a good site for a new flat ride. A thrilling flat ride to, to rival the likes of Pterodactyl and Cliffhanger. So, you know, we're looking here potentially at a new ride site. Skyflyer site, I've always said that's a good uh, future ride site as well. Uh, Mischief Mansion Dark Ride, we heard rumours of a Peter Rabbit VR attraction or some kind of Peter Rabbit re-theme uh, just for the Dark Ride system itself uh, in the near future, so maybe that could go ahead as well in 2023, 2024, maybe. Um, so Flamingoland have got some massive rumours surrounding them over the last year or so, and you know Flamingoland could have a massive, massive future off the back of this coaster. And I think that once COVID goes down, and the more we start to get back to some kind of normality in future years, the revenue from that coaster uh, being at the park and for the park revenue, that'll keep growing year upon year. So uh, I think we're looking here at the start of something big for, Fling for Mingaland. But uh, yeah, there's the latest construction. Massive shout out to Liam for those photos once again. Um, thanks for watching the videos and liking the channel. And uh, yeah, very exciting construction over there from Flamingoland's inversion roller coaster. Uh, like I said, it's about 80 to 85% completed in terms of track uh, construction. Uh, so that will hopefully be completed by the end of this year. And uh, we'll see some testing during the winter season as well. So there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this construction update. Make sure you go stay tuned to all of the other videos over the next few weeks. Make sure you watch our most recent videos. We did a video on Alton Towers Oktoberfest 2020. That is up today. The Wallaby Belgium construction update. That is up today. Six Flags announcement video compilation from 2016 to 2020. The new updated uh, upload version of that one. That will be coming tonight as our fourth upload of today. And of course tomorrow, fingers crossed, we'll have another construction update to tell you about as well. So thank you very much guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now guys, I'm the Coaster Chow. Kit on the Coaster Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome week.